channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica, and today's video is my summer home decor tour. I love doing these little tours of my home, and I hope that it gives you a ton of farmhouse decorating ideas, and of course, summer decorating ideas as well. Also, if you're new around here, I'm gonna point out some of my DIY upgrades that I did to our home to make it just feel more cozy and farmhouse. I'll also be pointing out the areas in my home that I have upcoming makeovers planned for that I will of course be sharing with you here on my channel. All DIYs, all budget friendly. So let's go ahead and get started with the summer home decor tour. All right, friends, welcome to my house. This is the first room that you will see as you walk in. We recently redid this room. If you are new here, you should have seen what this room looked like before. We totally came in here and gave it a major makeover. And I actually have a whole series planned where I'm gonna go in different rooms of my house and give them little upgrades and makeovers. So I will leave the link to this room makeover video in the description, just because it's not really summer in here, but if you wanna see how we redid this room and learn more about everything that I have in here, it will be in that video, link down below. But one thing I wanted to show you about this space is the faux brick. That's an example of one of the DIYs that I do myself. I also have it right here on either side. This is a faux brick wall that I made using joint compound, and I have a tutorial on that as well. I will have it linked down below. All right, so as we walk into the main part of the house, I have these two doors over here. This is the garage. And then over here is our little powder room downstairs. I painted both of these doors and the handles and it really complements the white dove color that we painted the shiplap. But over on this wall, I'm gonna be doing an entryway remodel as well. I have all the stuff for it. It's just a matter of setting it all up. I think this sign over here on the bathroom is so darling. And this is actually one of the rooms. This is just a plain bathroom. But I just wanted to show you another room that we're gonna be redoing, replacing the light fixtures, all of that, adding some texture to the wall. And it's all gonna be DIY stuff that you can do yourself as well on a budget. So as you walk into our house, our living room is over here. And then this way is a really fun table that I had set up for summer. This, I have a whole video on how I made this DIY market stand inspired um, table. I always like to decorate this table for every season and I like to do something really cool. For Halloween, I did a Harry Potter theme. For the fall, I had a really cute like pumpkin patch here. So this table is just like where I can get really creative and I always have such a good time. So I will leave the link to this video as well and that just shows how I decorated it and also how I made this little overhang. This has held up really well except it is starting to bow here in the center just a little bit but for a DIY that I just made up on the fly I am really impressed how long this thing has stayed up this organic sweet honey bee farms sign is actually what inspired this whole space and I do have a discount to any sign in the shop also the sign in that room that said Giffen Homestead that I showed you as we first walk in that's from this company as well and I have a link for 15% off which will also be in the description they have amazing signs seasonal ones ones that you can customize I hung this one up with thumbtacks which I love to do because it doesn't damage the wall and if you decorate seasonally like I do it's just so much easier this is the table itself I got that from Hobby Lobby and like I said I love it so much I decorate every single season something different on here and this is a little cute market bag that I got some sunflowers these sunflowers I actually found on Amazon I was so surprised over quarantine just how many cute decor items I could find off of Amazon and then this blueberries pillow under here what does it say fresh blueberries 10 cents a basket that is actually from Tractor Supply. Just a little tip if you're into country decor, they have really good seasonal decor at Tractor Supply. I'll show you some other things from there. Actually, this B-Skep is from Tractor Supply. It can open up 
just like a little basket. So this is from the Target Dollar Spot. Target dollar spot, these little eggs around Easter. I love picking up these wooden eggs. And usually I have this set out over by my KitchenAid mixer in my kitchen, but I thought it looked cool over here. This scale, unfortunately, is from Hearth and Hand and they no longer carry it, but I did find a similar one on Amazon that I did in one of my Amazon hauls, so I will have that linked for you guys if you like it. It's definitely a really good piece. It's so functional. You can use it for so many different things. So yeah, this is definitely become one of my staple decor pieces. And then this cutie right here is a DIY bee scap that I made for summer. I will have that video linked down below as well, but I just think they're so darling. This is the biggest one I did, and I'll show you what I did with all the small ones. Um, but yeah, this is my little entryway table. I think it's just so charming and cute and it makes me so happy. I grew up in upstate New York, so there was always all kinds of like produce stands and farm stands along the road, which they don't have so much in Florida, or at least where we live. So I just really love this. It makes me very nostalgic. Okay, so now moving into the dining room kitchen area. This is what it looks like. I also went ahead and painted the pantry doors the same color as those doors that I showed you on the way in. So they're all the same color. I will have the paint that I use linked down below. Um, and ignore these signs, but I'm actually going to take all of this stuff down and I'm totally revamping this space. And that's going to be in an upcoming like farmhouse decorate with me video. I get a ton of questions on these bar stools, which I know are a little bit too high for my island. We're probably going to cut the bottoms off, which you guys recommended, but we just haven't gotten around to it yet. But they are from World Market. Um, so let's go into the dining room. And this window makes the lighting in here a little rough, but I will try my best to show you guys so it's not too annoying. Um, let's go on this side. So this is how I did my tablescape. Another favorite thing of mine to do seasonally is do a really fun tablescape. And this is what I came up with for summer. I love these lemons here. They're so pretty. I love the way that they hang. They're just so delicate and pretty and they look very natural. I got those from Tuesday morning. I don't know if that's a Florida specific store, but I don't know. They have some really good stuff. And then I recently put this basket here, which I think is a really good way to center everything and add some texture to the space. And then this runner, I washed it and it got a little wrinkly. I don't know, so ignore that. The placemats and the runner are from Home Goods. These little plates here are from Hobby Lobby and they were on sale. And then these cute little placeholders are the bee skeps that originally inspired my bee skep DIY that I will have linked down below. I wanted to incorporate my bee like honey farm stand that I showed you with all of the lemon decor that I have in my kitchen. So I figured on this table would be a good place for like both worlds to me, if you will. So I have the bee scabs here, I have some lemon, and I just think this space is very cozy and functional. And then over here, I did another DIY using the same twine that I used for this. I just bought a big thing of it from Tractor Supply. I think I got it for $10 and I made so many things out of it. But I haven't had time to make the other three but I was able to just kind of make these little circles and you can just kind of set them here or you could actually complete it, which again, I just ran out of time. But this is like a DIY little decorative placemat, which I thought was really cool. And then over here, I kept this very basic. A lot of times I go all out like for Christmas, for fall, Halloween, I have this place really decked out cool. If you wanna go back and see any of my tables or just different holiday, uh, displays and things go ahead and follow me on Instagram I'll leave my handle here and I have pictures of all the stuff that I'm talking about all of my different seasonal decor I have pictures of it all there so if you need some inspiration or you're just curious go ahead and follow me over there but yeah this is just my coffee bar area kept it very simple for summer 
I added a lot of the Ray Dunn birdhouses, which I thought was really pretty, and just some pops of green. And these shelves were also a super affordable DIY as well. We just bought the pre-cut pieces of wood from Lowe's. I stained them, and then I bought those really cheap brackets. I think they were $2 a piece, spray painted them black, and there you go. So this whole thing maybe cost us $30 if that, and it's been such an awesome thing. I have decor up here all year round and I love it. It's such a cool little statement in our house. And then over here is our little garbage can, shiplap garbage can cover, which is so funny. Um, but yeah, it just basically covers our boring black garbage can. So it's more aesthetically pleasing and also it helps keep my dogs out of it. Ever since we put this thing up, they have not been able to get in my garbage can. So that has been amazing. We do have plans to make like a lid of sorts to go on top, but for now I think it is awesome. It's pretty and it serves a purpose, which is really my favorite type of DIY. So as we move into the kitchen, pretty basic in here. I do not like a lot of clutter in my kitchen. It just makes me feel crazy and like, I don't know, my house is a mess. But I will show you the few touches of summer that I added in here. I had so much fun creating this tiered tray for summer. This sign was from Amazon. Unfortunately, it sold out but it's so pretty. And then I just had some really pretty turquoise blue cups that played off of the yellow of the lemons and also the blue on that sign that I really loved. And then just some other lemonade making type things like this squeeze thing here, this sugar one, some bowls. And then this I was able to find from Walmart for $5. I could not believe how affordable that was. And then I just have some cups here with some straws, a couple more lemons. So I thought this was a fun like lemonade summer tiered tray. Kind of gave a different spin on the typical lemon theme while still keeping the lemon theme for summer because I love that. I just can't think of anything that I love more in my kitchen for summer than lemons. I know it's popular, but I don't know. I was a big fan. And then over here, I always keep some seasonal decor here as well on this pedestal. This unfortunately is no longer available. It's from Hearth and Hand as well. So um, there is one that I saw on Amazon very similar that I will link down below, but this exact one, I always get asked about it and they just don't make it anymore, which is a bummer. But this lemon tree is from Joann's. It's actually a tree. A lot of people think it's like just lemon stems, but it's a tree. But I did not like this very cheap burlap sack that it came with, so I put it in a basket, and I think it gives such a cool look to the space. Let me just put it back. And then next to it, I found from Tractor Supply this little croc homemade pure quality jam and I just put a little pop of green. We recently put in the this little peg rail and I love hanging some kitchen stuff. Actually, I think we're missing. Usually there's a basket here, but I moved it. I'll show you where I put that. It's actually really cool. This long little dish towel is so cute. It is vintage rolling pins. If you guys can hear that, there is a frog that hangs out outside of my door that is so loud. So if you hear croaking, that's what it is. So moving around here, I love this lemon dish towel. This is from PCB Home, I believe that's what it's called. And also this rolling pin is from there as well. I'll leave their website if you're interested. I love decorating with amber soap dispensers. They are so much more aesthetically pleasing than all of the label clutter from, you know, different brands of soap and things like that. This is just another view um, into our living room, which I will show you next after the kitchen. Oh, and then this is the back side of my tiered tray. More lemons, and then I like to keep some bowls here to make it functional. I love using those for like food prep and stuff. And then this cute little black and white piece was a Walmart find. All right, so turning around on this side, what I have out here is just some corbels that I made. Um, you can buy just raw wood corbels from Lowe's or um, Home Depot, and you can add some joint compound to give them texture, and then I went ahead and painted mine white. 
So that's just an affordable way to get like an antique looking corbel. And I love putting things on top of cutting boards just so it looks more intentionally placed and not just dropped on the counter. And in here I just have a bunch of cookbooks and things. Um, I want to show you the one I've been loving for summer or just in general. And I've talked about this before, but this book, Gather at Home, has been one of my favorites. There's so many yummy things in here, so many good recipes, and she also has DIYs, and they're all seasonal. These chocolate chip cookies are so good, and the secret ingredient in here, let me just tell you, is vanilla pudding. Who knew? But I made them before with Miles before I started my keto diet, and they were amazing. So... That has been definitely a favorite, but I don't want to get sidetracked. So over here I have my little cast iron teapot that I always have out. I love that thing. And then I have this cute little, very distressed sign. It's almost hard to read, but I really liked the colors in here and I thought it fit well above my stove. But this one was from Amazon. It just says the British Beekeepers Association and I don't know it was just very vintage and it went well with this area it's more of like this is definitely more of like a rustic part of my home and then this is a vintage find the scale I love just stacking up bowls and putting a little pop of green in them and then I like to keep all of my like wooden vintage type um, utensils out here and this crock was from tractor supply real antique crocs can be so expensive so I was psyched that I was able to find this one I think it was like ten dollars and then coming around over this way this is my kitchen aid obviously and I have this cute little apron from tractor supply and then I also just have this little organic strainer with some more lemons I love just having decor out on top of my fridge. It's a great place to add some decor to your home and just somewhere that is a little unexpected. I just have an antique teapot, some pottery stacked up. And then over here, one more thing in the kitchen that I wanted to show you is I recently put up a video about this and I'm absolutely loving it. This is a DIY command center. This was so affordable to put together. Um, I just love it so much. I have this clipboard where I just put this week. I use my stamp set because I hate my handwriting. And then I can just use sticky notes and I can take on and off different things that we have upcoming for that week. And then in here, this is where I keep my sticky notes and the dry erase marker. And I still have up organized pantry check, which I did for my video. But I love this. This piece, this little dry erase checklist, paper checklist thing is from Michaels and everything was on sale. I think I got this for like 12 bucks. And then yeah, over here I mentioned before I usually have my vintage sign up and this mug rack, but I ordered a really fun piece that I have coming and I'm going to revamp this wall. It's been like this for way too long, like at least probably six months. And for me, I'm constantly changing things up. So I need to change that area a little bit. So as we go in here, this is my living room. Another one of those bee skeps I made, but I added a little hook to this one and I hung it off the tree. So I mean, it looks like a real little bee's nest in that tree. So that's cute. Um, this was so random, but I've had this antique typewriter for a while since our wedding. And I made, this was an extra piece of wood from our shiplap that we added to this wall. Um, and so I just used my stamp set and wrote our names on here. So I don't know, it's kind of like a play off of those really popular book sets where you can have your whole family name. These shelves, I am in the works of revamping. I found those two street signs from Home Goods. I don't know if they look good here on the shelves. I can't decide. I think I have too much of like same, same going on. But yeah, I'm in the process of totally redoing those floating shelves, just redecorating it. Um, so the only real summer thing I have in here is I put these pretty little lemons on our frame TV. You're able to pick out different pieces of artwork. So of course I picked lemons. And then, yeah, this is our... Um, DIY fireplace insert that I made. I will link that down below. This is probably out of all my DIYs, well maybe aside from the faux brick, 
this one gives such a big statement and impact and such a cool look to your home and it was so affordable to do so i will definitely leave that one linked down below and i also gave in that video some ideas of how to make a fireplace insert or this concept work if you have an electric fireplace so that will be down below i recently added this rug and it gives such a cool cozy vibe to this living room it's from well woven and i think they have a navy one now which i think is really cute as well and then this couch and love seat is from rooms to go it's worked out well it's just really fits the floor plan of this living room and i took out our dining room or not dining room our coffee table because i have a five month old who is going to be crawling soon and i just want this space to be you know open for her so yeah this is the summer home tour you guys i hope you enjoyed it oh i forgot to say that that garland wrapped around my mug rack was from joann's as well so yeah this is how I decorated for summer and I loved it. I didn't think it was too overkill. I think yellow is just like an uplifting color anyway, but I'm not gonna lie, I am starting to get the itch to redecorate again. You guys know I just love doing that. It keeps my creative juices flowing. So I hope you enjoyed this summer home tour. If you love home decor and decluttering motivation, just anything home, DIYs, affordable room renovations, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That is what I do over here. That's kind of what I'm known for. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for more decorating inspiration, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.